Hello there, kids. It's ah, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of New Vegas. All right, when we left off, we had just stopped at <laughs> the satellite to let us into the big empty. And here we go. We start our descent into the madness that is science. And believe me, it is madness. Trust me on this. I did school. <laughs> ah, kid. In the years before the Great War, Big Mountain had been the home to the brightest minds of the 21st century. Scientists of vision were drawn to the facility to tackle the greatest technological challenges of the era. They sought to create a new world, fueled by technology for the benefit of all mankind. Sonic emitters, space-age alloys, DNA hybridization, force field particle research, autodoc advances in cranial, cardiac, and trauma surgery. The hopes and dreams of a century became realities in the electronic forges of Big Mountain. The nucleus of this research was the Dome, a huge stone facility that held the labs of every science known to man. It was a think tank where no problem could not be solved, where no question could not be answered. The Great War brought a new energy to Big Mountain and its scientists. Although sheltered from the front lines, the scientists waged their own war, fighting their battles at the atomic level. Equations and calculations marched endlessly across chalkboards and computer terminals toward one solution, winning the war. For years, the minds and computers of Big Mountain were a blaze of trajectories, weapon schematics, and nuclear theories. The problems began to outpace the solutions, first geometrically, then exponentially. As the war escalated, so did the questions. On the night of October 23rd, 2077, the scientists received an answer that put all their questions to rest. In the aftermath, Big Mountain's silent experiments went to sleep, their creators slowly dying in the new world that had been left behind. And the great stone in the middle of the Big Empty lay untouched, filled with countless technological wonders. Wonders that, in the end, had been answers to the wrong question. All right, then. So, yeah, that is what we're going into right now. The insanity that comes with science. You feel strangely heavier. A quick expect inspection of your body reveals faint surgical scars around your chest, head, and back. And now I'm in a patient gown. Why the fuck am I in a patient gown? You can see my butt. I don't want you to see my butt. This is not good. Do I still have my armor? Yes, I do. I still have everything. Joshua Graham's armor, and my combat helmet is still on. Cool. There we go. And now I head into the sink. And we deal with what we find within. Sink Central Intelligence Unit. And these are the workbench stuff things. Ha 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 Bunch of Wonder Glues right there. Awesome sauce. Dealt with some of our weight. Now there's some ammunition. Mainly energy ammunition. 
Huh. Don't like it when they do that. I'll take all of this. Because it helps. Even if they don't realize it helps. It helps. Um, what can I break down? Oh, well, I don't really need to break down anything. I just need to consolidate weight at this point. And... Let's see. We'll drop some of our ammunition in here for the time being. Although I won't drop it in there. Why is this door closed, I wonder? We will find out soon enough. This is a disabled jukebox. It won't let us do anything in it. Actually, a lot of these things won't let us do a lot of it with it. A lot of things with it. Okay, let's... That's not what I meant to do at all. I pressed the wrong button. What I meant to do was put this in there. And then put half of that. Put pretty much all of that. Let's see if we can carry any more. Yeah, there we go. And with the trunk, let's see what we can carry on that. Um, I'm not mean carry, I mean drop off. We'll drop off the duct tape and other stuff here. Um, you have to go down to scrap now, so that's S. Uh, you have to drop those off. Then wrench. Oddly enough, I've been finding a lot more of. Usually, it's hard to find all of them. Weapon repair kits, I'm doing pretty good on that. And, let's see. We'll put some of the uh, other weapons that I plan on using to repair things in here. Uh, this we'll put in there. The other thing we'll carry around with us. And put that in there. Cool. And let's see what else we're carrying that we can put away in here, maybe. And aid, we can drop off some of that. Uh, gecko stakes, we can drop off a lot of those. Healing poultices will... They don't really weigh that much. We can carry all of those. Uh, purified water. I could have probably brought more. Now that I think about it. Well, more of the, those. Uh, whiskeys. We'll keep a couple in there. Because why the fuck not? And there's... Hey, there's another Wonder Glue. Some Mentats. Energy cells that are drained. Muggy. Can't talk to them. There's... No personality files, as it says there. Mad Scientist Scrubs. We'll keep those there for now. And, yeah, I think that's pretty much all the stuff we can uh, bother with carrying around here. What's under here? In this foot locker. Oh, some extra rounds. Cool. And what's around here? There's a hot plate, so we can cook some things. Like that. It's always good. Refrigerator. Has some cool stuff. And some purified water. Excellent. That's always good to know. And break down those and break down these. Let's make the rest of those. And make the rest of these. Because fuck it. Why the fuck not? Alright, there we go. A lot of these will not work if I talk to them, per se. So we will instead go into the think tank. Oh, that music's good. A strange feeling of pacifism comes over you and you find you cannot draw your weapon for some reason. Well, shit. That's not a good sign. Wait, what? What? Duh. I thought I heard the pacification field kick in. All right, shh. Nobody move. I'll handle this. Uh. Be warned, intruder. You are in the presence of a mighty think tank of Big Mountain. The collective geniuses of... We... 
Why, Oppenheimer, which one of you self-professed geniuses has been adjusting my volume knob? Who was it? Was it you, Eight? Oh, Dr. O, was it? Likely story. O couldn't spark two neurons if they were in a lattice of biomed gel. What? Me? Breaking news, Klein. It wasn't me, all right? I'm the robotical engineer. Eight is sound waves. That's his specialty. You always do this. You always demean me in front of guests. And it's not O, all right? It's... Enough! Either of you do it again, it'll be the last time. Now... Now... Great. Now I forgot what I was saying. What was I talking about? Uh... Um, how are you all speaking through that one voice box? Did... did it just say something? Anyone catch that? Boros, you work with animals. Translate. Oi! It's a lobotomite! Here, in the dome! Oh, as if this situation couldn't get any worse! Now we've got lobotomites! Dalla! Get the spray before it excretes all over everything! Oi! I don't excrete all over everything. Not much anymore. <laughs> I wake up here, all cut apart, and I want some fucking answers. Dr. Klein, if my hypothesis is correct, this lobotomite is the repository of the brain we sent the signal to, the skin envelope once containing it. If so, it's proof that there may indeed be something beyond the crater. Just look at it, the way it blinks. It's like a big, hairless teddy bear. I know what it is, Dala. I want to know why it's down here. With its... its limbs all over everything. And... are those... penises I see wriggling on its feet? Disgusting. I believe those are toes, Dr. Klein. Thank you, Dala. Little teddy bear toes. Penises are much larger than those tiny extremities. Yeah, not that I would know. Uh -huh. I don't recall a human penis ever being that large. It depends on one's own frame of reference, Dr. O. Look at its little nose with its two orifices for ingesting oxygen. Noses? By the great static. These lobotomites confound me with their sheer number of useless extremities. display middle finger. It'd be a failure, but that's a, uh, that is something I want to do right now. Wave hands and nod. What? What is it doing? Did we institute electroshock? Uh, or is it excreting? Do you know half the things you're saying? Klein. Wait. I, I don't believe those gestures were random. Random at all. It's been following our conversation. The lobotomite understands us. I agree with Boros's histrionic findings. This little lobotomite is unusually attentive for something whose brain has been extracted. Nonsense! Sorry, lobotomites what? can't comprehend us! Eight, have you been in the Mentats again? If we slow down our oral processor receptors to understand this excretion, we'll all be rendered ignorant. All of you, power down, shut up, and let me prove once and for all how wrong you all are. As usual. Lobotomite, do you understand me? Can you speak? I was just doing it. Why do I feel passive? I should be angry. Real angry. And I'm not. Those were words, weren't they? In the form of questions. It's asking me questions. Is this some kind of trick? Our efforts have turned against us. In playing God, we created a monster. Perhaps as we were ruthlessly lobotomizing it with our cutters, we filled the skin envelope with awareness. 
A teddy bear with new stuffing. Wait. If what you're theorizing is this lobotomite understands us, can reason with us... Then this may be just the answer we've been looking for. At last. A chance to... Dr. Klein! A transmission from the Forbidden Zone! Coming right at us! It can only be... If it isn't my old colleagues, the mighty think tank of Big Mountain. Big fools! All of you. Who's this motherfucker? It is I, Dr. Mobius, uh, transmitting from my dome-shaped dome in the Forbidden Zone. A zone that is, yes, forbidden to you! Even now, my deadly robo-scorpions swarm across Big Mountain with their pincers and pointy laser tails. Soon, all science will be mine! Even the technology sealed in the Big Mountain Research Centers cannot save you. So cower in your think tank. Wait for the end. That's all. Uh, goodbye. That wasn't for Buddy. Mobius. Always the same broadcast. He's clearly mad, driven insane by his flawed and imprecise kindergarten-level research methodology. What are we going to do? Sure There's no way we can reach the Forbidden the Zone. There's those robot scorpions everywhere. Well, yeah. The Forbidden Zone, where no brain has ever entered, nor ever returned. Except Dr. Mobius. And the technologies that could save us, they are out of our reach. And Dr. Mobius mocks us. Did you see his cracked monitor? He's clearly let himself go. What? Ask the lobotomite for help? A, I think you need the fluid levels in your logic assist pumps checked. If this lobotomite responded, Dr. Klein, that it is clearly intelligent, perhaps even displays heretofore unknown levels of helpfulness. But what if it's brain? We scooped that out. We don't even know where we left it. There you go. And then. for putting it back in, Where's none of us have the knowledge. Yes, but it's still aware and responsive. Look at it. It's regarding us even now, with its big teddy bear eyes. Big teddy bear. If we ask it politely, and leave the part about the unnecessary, ruthless lobotomizing out, it might be favorably disposed to us. You have not lifted out the entire conversation, you... You lobotomize me. We removed your brain. Yes, so soft, barely wrinkled, yet so flush with knowledge and experience. Brain extraction technology has been standard practice at Big Mountain for an immeasurable amount of time. Once the brain was out, then came the coils. The Tesla coils. The coils of Nikola Tesla. Thank you, Kronk. The brainless part. Your brain has been replaced with advanced technologies. Your head can no longer be crippled and resistant to chemical addiction and shock from bodily damage. Yeah, Abe, no need to brag. Wherever your brain is, it's transmitting thoughts to you through the... what? The, um... Uh... The Tesla coils in its head! Okay. This is fortunate in many respects. If your brain was anywhere in the dome, why, you could access your aggression centers. Circumventing the pacification field, this is a no-no. We have never been in a fight. We do not want that. Reminds me of my days in American High. And Richie Marcus. So, how much surgery did you do on me? I feel like a badly put together jigsaw puzzle. That is my responsibility. Okay. Although, in truth, the Autodoc had done most of the work already. Quite industrious, almost cut into all my investigations. Once it had removed the brain and I misplaced it, 
Other organs began to cry for direction, using your nerves as telegraph wires. Rather than let them send their signals, I removed them as well. Shh, little organs. Go to sleep in your tanks. Dala loves you. First was the heart. Okay, so now my heart's gone. The scars on your chest seem to confirm what the think tank is saying. You cannot be poisoned, and filters in your artificial blood pump will regulate bleeding and healing, allowing all healing items to function at a higher level. Robots are now confused by you, and 50% less likely to score a critical hit. Oh wait, I mean, second was the heart. Brain was first. Okay. Third was the spine. Not my spine? Due to complications with the procedure, your spine has been replaced as well. Your torso can no longer be crippled, and your strength and damage threshold have been increased. Spine. Totally overrated, that arrangement of vertebrae. Okay. Look at me, with my lumbar and thoracic curvature. Never had a use for any of that. Spineless is what I prefer. I can tell. So you extracted my brain, but what do you mean misplaced it? To be correct, you should say, the autodoc took out your brain. It did all the heavy lifting. It has never worked so hard before. It was unusual. I'm not arguing semantics, Stella. It worked so hard on your surgery. It destroyed his own memory. How odd. I bet your brain remembers what happened. That auto-dock junk heap was one of Mobius's creations, like the rest of the talking scrap metal in the attic. After that, the brain lost itself. Not in the metaphysical sense. Might have gotten flushed into one of the pipes. Actually, that's pretty likely. Okay. If so, it was flushed all the way to Mobius. Flush. That is the sound of flushing. By the Fisher of Rolando, enough of this biological surgery talk. Lobotomite, listen to my voice. It denominates me to ask, but we need your help. In most probable of probabilities, our enemy, Mobius, has your brain. This is not good. He will most likely come after our brains next. We want you to stop him, somehow, with science. You said something about needing technologies to stop him? Yes. It is our only chance, a desperate plan that came to us after Mobius's first broadcast. Maybe, just maybe, if we reclaim these buried technologies, we can put an end to Mobius and the horrors spawning from the Forbidden Zone. I... I'm a little confused as to why my intelligence is not six. I could have sworn I had taken a Mentat. Uh, why me? Can't you do it? Um, no. No, why not? You are equipped to retrieve the technologies with your primitive form. We are not. It's kind of embarrassing. You have hands. Uh, and uh, a heartbeat, sort of. And eyes, mostly the hands. There's door handles and lockers and... Enough! We need your help. Will you help us? Just spit it out before you pull me to death. Excellent. This is turning out much better than the activate the retreat protocols and cower in my room idea I had earlier. Agreed. Oh, and I've used my robotical knowledge to, um, transmit the radio map waves to... Settle down, Eight. I would have gotten it in a second, all right? Eight transmitted the last known coordinates of the research centers. They, um, they, well, move sometimes, or get buried, or blow up. Okay. Eight is correct. All we need are the schematics. Cool. This does not mean we do not want the cold hard technology, however. So do not give in to your biological tired laziness and decide you would sweat too much carrying them. You have a new spine. Use it. And even if you die in the act of reclamation, 
Simply reaching them will auto-transmitify the schematics to us. That is still good. For us. Yeah, for you. And this is going to drag on for a lot longer, so I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games for you.